everyone and welcome back to Uncovering Sexual Health. Today I'm kind of doing a bit of an unboxing. I purchased some human anatomy models and these are of the reproductive systems of people with extra testosterone, so somebody with testicles and a penis, and a model of a body that has extra estrogen, so it would have a uterus, ovaries, and a vagina. And I needed to do this video before I do my next video on period products so that I can model how you would insert a tampon into a vagina. So I'm looking forward to seeing what these models look like. And I will be doing another video exploring and talking more about reproductive anatomy using these models. I find for myself, I'm a visual learner and it's so much easier to learn about different parts of our bodies, especially parts we can't see when we have a model. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna tip it up. And open it. So these would be like models you would see in a science class. Um, so if some of you are in high school and you're watching this, you might have seen the human anatomy model that is of a pregnant person. So you could see where the fetus is and how it grows inside the uterus. There we go. All right. Oh, and I forgot. I, oh, I'm so excited. I had ordered this. Oh, if I can open it up, which is This is an amazing, okay, it's hard to tell in this package. I'm gonna open it up a bit more, but this is a model so that when I'm doing my condom demonstration, we can see how you would insert an internal condom into a vagina. I'm just gonna open this up quickly. That is a different video and I am so excited to do that video as well. So this would be a body with dark skin. And if we look here, this is the labia, the outer labia, and this opening, I'm going to go this way so you can see it through the light, it would be the vagina. Just to let you know, vaginas are not a big open hole. The skin actually closes on itself, but for the purpose of doing a condom demonstration, it's important to have this opening so that we can see it. And they actually gave me a couple internal condoms. When I talk about condoms, I'm going to share the story of how hard it is to find internal condoms or female condoms is what a lot of people call them. Ooh, so excited. All right. All right. So I don't know which body is going to be in which box. <laughs> or maybe I do. This one says it's a female pelvis. So female pelvis, so a body with extra estrogen, a body with ovaries. And I guess I could do a little bit of talking right now about why I use the term body with extra estrogen and body with extra testosterone instead of female and male. Um, so as many of you probably know already, is that some people are born with genitals that don't match the gender that they feel or the sexual identity that they have. So we wanna make sure that all people are seen and noticed. Although we kind of have male, female, or bodies with ovaries and bodies with testicles kind of at the ends of this continuum, there are a lot of people with genitals that might look a little bit different than having a penis and testicles or having a vagina and labia, vulva, ovaries. And this happens because genetically, like when our bodies are coming together, like I mentioned in a previous video, when our cells are starting, all of our genetic material and all that code is on a trajectory to be kind of this one body. Slowly as our hormones and our cells divide and change, then we develop different genitals or different reproductive anatomy. As I mentioned before, the tissue that the clitoris is made out of is the same as what a penis is made out of. And the labia skin is actually the same as the scrotum skin. People could have a variety of genitals. If they're intersex, they might have um, an enlarged 
clitoris that might look like a penis, or they might have, their testicles might not have descended and maybe their penis is small and just looks like an enlarged clitoris. So there's a whole variety of people and bodies out there that we don't want to kind of have that binary thought of male and female. As well, somebody might be born with a vagina, but they might identify as male or as something else. So I like to use the words bodies with extra estrogen and bodies with extra testosterone so that we include all different people. <laughs> I guess that's kind of my gender talk. Okay, so back to the unboxing. <laughs> okay, it's an unboxing and an unwrapping. Oh, oh dear. Things are going everywhere. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So what we have here, I'm going to have to look at the model as I'm talking. So I'm going to do this side section so that you can see that I'm, so I'm looking at the camera, sorry, not at you. So there's the vagina and this is the uterus. This is the uh, bladder and this would be the rectum and the anus. Oops, and I'm just going to <laughs> piece this. Oh. oh, oh, look at that. It's magnetic. So I piece it together. So there's some fatty tissues, tissue there that helps pad the pelvic bone. Um, yeah. So I'm going to use this sample when I'm talking about putting in a tampon, even though the tampon will be giant compared to this body. So the next body will be a body with extra testosterone, meaning they have testicles and a penis. Thank you for your patience. And maybe you're getting a laugh out of this as I struggle with the products. All right, so here is the model. Um, I will just unwrap it quickly. Ah, there we go. All right, so this is the body. Oops, I'm just going to, there we go, that's better. So this is the body with extra testosterone, so testicles, penis and then if we do the sub the cutaway section um the bladder the urethra and the anus and there's the spongy tissue of the penis so i'll be using this model as i explain the reproductive anatomy of people with extra testosterone or people with testicles and penises I will put a link down below from where I purchased these products because there's a lot of different products that they have materials for teaching purposes.